Good morning, beautiful people. So today, um, I figured, you know, so basically right before quarantine started, I filmed a day in my life as a PhD student and people seem to enjoy that video, but of course all of that was before the pandemic when I actually went into the office and the lab and did things there and now life is very different. So I figured I should film another one of these during all of these stay at home orders because work is definitely very different. I know we've been in this pandemic for what, nine months now, but still okay so i'm just gonna take you through my day a little bit and what i do at home to try and work and get a few things done so it is about 9 30 right now i already had breakfast and got ready and all of that and i have meetings today at 10 11 1 and 2. so i'm just prepping for all of those i also I need to like pray to the internet gods or something that my internet works today because I have pretty important meetings and my internet really needs to work and yesterday it didn't work and I was trying to interview someone and I kept dropping out of the meeting and it just was so frustrating and I felt so like just a mess and unprofessional and it's so frustrating when we rely so much on the internet now and the internet doesn't work. So let's do some some good vibes for good internet today. Also, yes, during my meetings, I can look professional from the top up, but on the bottom, I know that I'm wearing leggings and a blanket, so. <laughs> Dear internet gods, the lords, the router, the ethernet kings, please let my internet work today. I have important meetings. I need to say things. People need to hear what I have to say. They can't just see a frozen screen. I can't be continuously embarrassed from dropping out of my meetings. I want to be able to voice my thoughts to others. Please let the internet work. Thank you. Hopefully that works. Anyway, so my meeting that I have in half an hour is actually an interview. I'm currently interviewing for new RAs in the lab. So I'm interviewing people this week. Luckily, I'm interviewing with another graduate student in the lab. So yesterday when my internet just didn't work. Um, she asked all the questions. It was... Okay, I'm gonna stop complaining about it. It might be okay. I did a test Zoom this morning and it seemed to work, but I have that in 30 minutes. And at 11, I'm running a participant. So I'm also getting together everything I need for that. So basically on a little sticky note, I write down the baby's name, the mom's name, what their subject ID number is, how many months old they are, and our counterbalancing system for how we do the order of the conditions that we run. Also, if you're new here and don't know, I run baby studies over Zoom right now, so I'm looking at interactions between the baby and the caregiver. It's going all right so far. I have a few participants every week and it's fun. Babies are cute, so I enjoy it. I'm gonna go now and I'll talk to you guys later, probably after my meetings. We'll see. Okay, bye. All right, little update. I am done with the interview and I also just got off the phone with the other graduate student who I interviewed with. And after interviewing a couple people this week, I think we've decided who we want to give the position to. So I need to email them and then write emails to the other people saying that they don't get the position, which is always so hard and I hate doing it. Everyone is qualified, everyone is good, everyone is valued, but we can only pick one. So I hate doing that, but I'll do it. Also, I need, oh, shoot, okay. I have uh, six minutes until the participant gets on Zoom. And I always get nervous before these sessions. I don't know why, I need to do them a lot, so I hope I get over my nervousness, but I'm always afraid I'm gonna forget to do something, like I'm gonna forget to, pin and record their video or I'm gonna my directions are gonna come out sloppy because I'm just not good at talking. I'm gonna do a some deep breathing for a minute or two and then get on the zoom and hopefully it goes well. Wish me luck. Just uh, finished the session. Honestly, probably one of our best sessions yet, I would say. So that is good. The baby was pretty chill. Definitely got fussy a little bit, but you know babies do. Overall though, it seemed uh, seemed to go well and I don't think I forgot to do anything. I don't think I said anything wrong, so we should be good. <laughs> I know I feel like this video has been only me sitting and talking in this chair and not actually showing you anything, but because my meetings are so like confidential, I really can't show or let you hear or anything like that. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, that's why I, I can't do any of that. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a little break before my next meeting. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, now that I am done with my lunch, um, are you ready for my one outing today? You know, I try to get outside at least like once a day, so uh, let's go on an adventure, shall we? Let's see what the outdoors has in store for us today. Alright, that was my outing for the day. <laughs> now I'm back to work in this chair that I don't leave. Okay, welcome back. So I have lab meeting in about 10 minutes because we usually have a party or something on the last day, um, but we can't really do that. My PI said that she wanted to play Among Us, so I was like, I can make that happen. So I'm gonna get it going right now and get a lobby set up so that hopefully uh, when we all join lab meeting in a couple minutes, then everyone just needs to download the app and join. So let's go ahead and get this set up and ready to go. Okay, I'm all done with my meetings. Among Us was really fun. I'm glad that people seem to really enjoy it and it worked out. Everyone was able to join. Anyway, now that I'm done with my meetings, I'm gonna just hang out and chill for a little bit. Maybe lay down. I also need to charge my battery as it only has a few minutes left of recording on it. So I'm gonna go do that and chill. Talk to you later. Hello everyone, we are back. The camera is charged. I am back to work. Well, trying to get back to work. And I thought I would take this moment to share with you some of the kind of different software and things I use while working from home uh, and doing my PhD that have helped me out quite a bit so far. So the first thing is going to be an app. It's called Forest. And if you haven't heard of it, basically what you do is you can set uh, like a little timer here. You can drag this up and down and it changes the time. And so I'm going to set it right now for 45 minutes. So when I hit start, it's going to plant this tree. And when the tree is planted, that means that I cannot go to any of my other apps or anything on the phone until after the tree is planted. Basically, if I do go to another app, the tree dies. I know it seems kind of lame, but it's like just the tiniest little push of motivation to help you stay off of your phone. So I would recommend trying this out. If you're someone who is on your phone constantly, I've noticed I'm really bad at just, I'll, I'll like, literally read two paragraphs of a paper and get bored and reach for my phone just because it's there. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit plant right now. So now it's going and my little tree there is starting to grow. And I'm also going to take my phone, turn the screen off, throw it across the room. I almost threw it off the bed. <laughs> so now that we have that distraction out of the way, I'm going to show you some apps on the computer that I use that I'm currently using to help organize all these papers because if you are a graduate student or undergrad depending what you do but especially graduate students when writing papers and i'm working on writing like a big meta-analysis right now i'm kind of working on two different papers and it's hard to keep everything together and there's a lot of little things i read everywhere and anyway it's hard to keep them organized so i've been using this app notion which you can go to just on your web browser so here's an example of a spreadsheet that i made in notion and I basically use this to organize all of my papers. So it's kind of like an Excel sheet. At the top I have author, year, title, tags, age, um, their N number, different groups they had, F values, notes, and a PDF of the article. So what I like a lot more about Notion rather than just using a plain Excel sheet is one, you can have these tags. So I have tags, for instance, if the article uses an autistic sample or they do vocal or auditory, so whatever kind of domain they use for that. I'm also going through and writing down the age groups um, in all of the different articles so that I could easily sort by, okay, you know, all of like this one, this one, and this one, all up to four month olds. So let me compare between those. Also the sample size, super important, as well as F values. And then over here I have no Notes. So if I click on these, it can open up these notes that I wrote about the article itself. And then here I have a PDF. So if I click on this one, for instance, it'll open up the PDF of the article. So here we go. We have the PDF there. 
easy to get to from here. Now the reason there's some highlights in here is because I imported this PDF from another software I'm about to bring up, which is Mendeley. So I have all those same papers I showed you, plus a few more, here in my Mendeley library. And it's connected to Google Chrome, so say I find an article on Google Chrome. So you can view PDF through Mendeley, or use the extension here, and just easily click Add to Mendeley, and it will automatically add it to your library through here. So in Mendeley, you can also sort by author, year, etc., but it doesn't have as many of the functions as Notion, so that's why I move everything from Mendeley to Notion. But one thing I like more about Mendeley is its highlighting feature. So if I open up, like I was reading this article here, you can tell I really like highlighting. I know, you guys aren't going to understand the different colors, but they make sense to me. <laughs> so you can highlight and also write notes, so like I have a little note here and it shows up with this icon. Anyway, I'm going to read back through here and that's what I'm going to work on right now. I just came across another tip I just thought of. So right now I can't access this article even though I'm logged into VPN through my institution and I should have access. So I'm going to go to Sci-Hub. So this is Sci-Hub. It's sci-hub.se. I can type in I believe just the title of the paper I want to read and click open. Great, here's the paper I want. Yay! So, if you're ever having trouble accessing papers and you run into these things that says like, purchase for $42 and you're like, that's ridiculous, just use Sci-Hub. Great, I'm glad that I ran into this issue so that I could tell you all about it. The sun is setting, so I wanted to show you the beautiful sunset that I get to watch every evening. Okay, welcome to my last little self-care, have fun portion of the evening. I've been working on this paint by numbers cat picture painting. Yeah. <laughs> PJ got me this for my birthday. Uh, this is what it looks like kind of closer up. You can see that there's a bunch of numbers. So remember like those paint by numbers things that everyone did as kids? Maybe not everyone, but I feel like a lot of people. So this is like an adult version and I love cats. So this is what it's supposed to look like by the end. Super cute and colorful. So I'm working on that. Right now I believe I'm on number am I on? Four? I think I'm on four. It's a slow process, but it's fun and relaxing. So just ignore my big mess over here on the desk. It's, it's fine. Okay. Take my little itty bitty paintbrush and uh, continue painting this. And I usually have this on while I listen to a YouTube video or podcast or something in the background. And then this is also going to be the end of the night. So I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. I feel like this was a pretty typical day in my life during quarantine so far. I always have a few meetings scattered throughout the day and I struggle to get work done, but Hopefully you guys found a few helpful tips in the software that I recommended, like the Forest app to help with motivation, or Notion, Mendeley, and Sci-Hub to work with all of your articles and references if you are writing a paper. And this is just going to be a nice way to end the night. Thank you all so much for watching, and subscribe if you want to stick around, and I'll see you next time. I'm just going to end this with a little time lapse of me uh, painting the cat, so if you want to watch and see a little bit of cat painting, then feel free. <laughs> if not, you can click off now. I won't be offended. All right, have a good night, everyone. Bye.